Let's take it back to the Thursday uh, games, the genesis of this great week. Eagles versus Vikings here. Uh, and Kenny Gainwell misses on the short week with the rib injury, which leads us to our first discussion. We got tough dynasty dilemmas for your title pleasures. Um, I think it puts some people in a weird spot with Swift. Um, and, and what are we kind of doing there? Because obviously Swift came out, had an outstanding game, um, looked like the Swift that we all know and love. And, and we know when he was out there with the Lions last year, he, he was he was pretty effective uh, in his points per touch and all that jazz. There was some good efficiency metrics from him in, in some aspects there. A little bit of an odd move to, for the Lions to get rid of Swift and then bring in Gibbs. Obviously, we're thinking Gibbs is, is going to be better than Swift. Uh, but, you know, you just saw what Swift can do with a good offensive line. Now the Vikings um, and uh, Brian Flores had a great plan for the Eagles. They were kind of dropping a lot, dropping eight a lot and, and light boxes. So that's that's going to aid in, uh, you know, DeAndre Swift's effectiveness. And then you're, you're, what he does well is be operate well in space. So you're starting him off with a lot of space. Not to take anything away from Swift, I thought he made some great plays at the end of that game. He made a great run that uh, kind of really helped distance them a little bit. Uh, but what are your thoughts with with DeAndre Swift here? We got the rib injury from Gainwell. Uh, Boston Scott left with a concussion. Penny is Penny. I mean, you know, we think he could be good. This is a good offensive line, but I, I think some of it was helped out by the way that the game plan was from the Vikings. So uh, what are we doing with with Swift on a one year deal that, that kind of makes it a little more intriguing for me. You know, I think it's going to be tough to see it multiple weeks. Some people are saying that Gamewell's not getting his job back, but I find that hard to believe that the that the rotation will not be in heavy like Swift didn't even play week one, really. Like he had one one carry, maybe it was, you know, just yeah, it was all game. I think he had I think one carry and one catch for like right. three yards. So, you know, I, I, you got a decent rotation there and they've been, you know, that was what gives you a hesitation of any Eagle. Somebody got lucky on the bingo card week one with Gainwell that they drafted him super late and probably didn't plug him. Maybe they did, you know, I, I don't know. And then, you know, I I would assume 40% or so maybe didn't plug Swift this week for if they had a better looking option. And because of, you know, Hey, are we going to get duped again here? Is this going to be, you know, like like you stated there, so so would you be sell any selling of you're just a complete hold? I, I think I'm more in the in the hold camp. I, he's got the yep. one year deal. I think he's a he's a good player. You you see what he can do. I don't know if he'll end up with the Eagles. It would almost be worse if they re-signed him because it probably wouldn't be to a big deal. But they're you yeah, know until they prove it. otherwise. But I, I don't know. Week one, you get a guy and they they kind of featured him and used him the whole game, which is not usually what they do. So it, we're just. It, we saw something a little different now in two games, and really, Penny only came in when when Swift was out with a equipment issue or something there for a second. So it has been a little puzzling. They kind of told us one thing, and it's looked like one another thing through two games. Yeah, and this is kind of what I, I expect with Philadelphia on a week to week basis. I think that they're going to game plan a little bit more creatively on you know what personnel they want to use and who they want to actually accentuate a little bit more. Uh, and I think Swift was just a beneficiary. I, I, I don't think this is going to happen on a week to week basis. I, I can't really see a lot of consistency there. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on on Gainwell? Is there any reaching around to try to buy Gainwell for cheap here? If after? I can get him dirt cheap. Yo, yeah, yeah, I'm adding. Did you buy Gainwell for a third? Yeah, for oh, yeah. a third. Yeah, I would send a third. Thirds yeah, are the, the most the, unpredictable yeah, the thing is, except for Puka Nakua. I just <laughs> wouldn't I just wouldn't know when to start him. Like that's the problem. It's just like he's kind of a hold unless injury well, another or one of those guys go down or shows, unless you like you show, like gets in and shows you that they're gonna yeah. stick with him. Yeah. Or if it, like like Andrew's hey, mentioned a desperation play. Like, all right, we'll throw Gainwell and hope, hope it's a Gainwell week. So on a week where they're um, very favored to win the game, I, and if we see it again next week, right? If he comes back and we see the utilization we saw week one, or at least 75% of it, I think I'd be comfortable as a flex play. I'm not sitting here saying he's going to be an RB2 by any means, because I really do think it's going to be scattered. But on favorable matchups, I think I'd be comfortable flexing him if he yeah. shows the utilization next week. All right. And uh, so no, nobody's real super interested in Penny. We're just, you know. Who? You throw a penny. Uh, Penny's a kicker in some deals, potentially. Might that's click, about what he's worth right now. Click too. the box just to see if you could get Penny off the team, and it could could help you out at some point. It sucks, man. They yeah. they they prioritize bringing him in early. It seemed like it could be something, and there was a little value spike, but you missed it. 
Yeah. You missed it. Um, yeah. What was it? Yeah. What was a pre-draft? Yeah, it was decent, you know, where they it was like, oh, well, they need somebody. And, they, you know, it's Gainwell. And then, and then they fucking use Gainwell all, all game, game one. Uh, so crazy there. All right. Uh, let's let's keep it moving here. We got another uh, guy on the list here. How about Josh Jacobs coming out, no. held out. Now he's been two weeks where, uh, you know, not great. Usage has well, been. We have nine carries for negative six yards. Yeah. So not great. And, uh, you know, I- interesting here, obviously had a great year, was was a hero for a lot of people last year. So what are we what are we doing with Josh Jacobs? Uh, is it a, you going after Josh Jacobs? Are you what, what do you what are your thoughts here? Oh, yeah, I'm buying. Absolutely. I, I, I can't uh, think that this is going to be a forever thing. I think this is still an offense that has made some moves uh, and is still trying to figure out their identity and has somehow forgotten that Josh Jacobs was exactly that with, with the exception of Devontae Adams. I mean, th- they're going to get back to Josh Jacobs' heavy usage. They, they can't get away from it, especially when they decided not to let him walk. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely buying Josh Jacobs. If I can get him cheap right now, I am all over that. It seems like an opportune time to send some feelers around for for Josh Jacobs. Would you would would ET be somebody that you would swap for Josh Jacobs? Uh, In a way, man. Uh, so yeah, I, I think I would. Uh, heads up, I, I think. Whoop. KJ, can you hear us, man? I think we lost you. Lost a little audio, but so you said that you you would swap, man. Yeah, I think I would do. Yeah. And you say no way. No way. I just. I mean, if you're playing the Raiders right now, you're throwing eight guys and you're throwing eight guys in the box, and until Myers and Devontae get back, you're just doubling. You're just doubling Adams, and he's it banged up now too. So, mm-hmm. what do that's you why you that's why you want Josh Jacobs. No, that's why I don't want him. So you're you're saying you would sell for ET as well? Yes, that's not what you said. Okay, we're keeping ET. Everyone's yeah. keeping yes. ET. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I, uh, sorry, I, I thought you meant. Are no, we selling? It sounded like you're sorry, Josh Jacobs. You you uh, you do have these He's worst deals. It's not good. Case. <laughs> I'm. Um, <laughs> I think. I think I'm. So, so to not, be clear, I want ETN over right. Jacobs. I don't think. Um, obviously, we're not seeing it from Josh Jacobs right now. We saw one great game from ET, and then we saw a you know kind of. You know, a game on this one, Jags as a whole, not really. You that know. was overwhelmingly yeah, from the Jags. All right. Um, and at some point, maybe you see a little bit more of a mixture of running backs um, in with the Jags. Right now, it's all ET, which, you know, we don't necessarily think that that is going to hold for the entire season. They've much like the Eagles have said they're, they want a rotation and brought in tank and yada, yada, yada. I, I, I think Josh Jacobs is is. I think I might do that swap now. If I'm a really competitive, hyper competitive team right now, I'm not. No, I don't know if you can afford to do that for kind of what you're saying. Um, but I mean, what were they doing last year? Uh, you know, as far as you know, Josh Jacobs and stacking the box and everything, and he had a you know a fantastic year. So um, now there is some statistics out there when when somebody gets the usage like Josh Jacobs the the next year is is usually a little bit of a of a more of a down year outside of a very few people um so but I think I would I think coming into this I was swapping for for Josh Jacobs um coming into the season I I wanted Josh over ET and I think I'm I'm sticking with it there I think I would swap um so you you guys are hell no though huh I wouldn't say I'm hell no I'm just I mean, biases aside, it's just the age and the offense. And, yeah, Jacobs could be somewhere else next year, but and probably will be, I guess. He's also a year older than too. Right. You get, you get a little bit of age difference, better offense. Go Tigers. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine him being on the Raiders next year um, after all this. And he's just – he's shown me elite usage great in the past game. Um, he's kind of – He's everything you wanted ET to be last year and, and the year before. And he's been like a top 10 dynasty back pretty much every single year he's been in the league. And it's a slow start here um, from from a holdout. And, you know, the Raiders, I think, got down in this one. Um, yeah. And, you know, obviously last week wasn't what you wanted to see. But is there any thoughts of, of pulling Josh Jacobs? Or you- I don't think you can. I, I think he's one of those guys. If he's in if you have him in your roster, he's in your lineup. No, I mean I don't think you can either. Um, yeah, I don't see a way unless you've got like, 
Yeah, you got to hope this turns around. We, but, we, I mean, now Barkley's out. J- JK's gone for the year. We don't know what's going on with Chubb. I mean. Right. It's getting it's getting whittled down uh, a little bit there. So, um, interesting interesting with Josh Jacobs. Is there was that a two two first kind of deal that you'd get rid of Jacobs for one first or is there a, a monetary value on picks that you would be down to? Yes. If I could get two first for him, I would probably do that. Yeah, I mean, it seems like the right time to try to get out. Yes, like I yes, did that yes. last. Like again, I'm talking about last year. I did it on team last year. I traded Jacobs for Et a first and Alec Pierce. Yeah. All right. I was totally down to do mm-hmm. that. And that was that was like midway through the season last year. That was before Jacobs had the that, those blow up games. But yeah. so uh, KJ, we got you back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, little little okay. worse audio Sorry, quality, but we'll take it. Um, yeah. What are your What are your oh, thoughts God. on Josh Jacobs swapping swapping for ET or or um, No, no, I can't walk away from ET with the utilization he's got right now. Uh, I. I I think that you're just hoping that Jacobs comes back when we've already seen it with AT. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people are really overplaying what Bigsby is going to start taking on a more week to week basis. I, I, I'm, from what I've seen, I'm sticking with AT. Yeah, I, I, I said I, I'm the look. Seems like I'm the odd one out. I think unless I'm really competitive and I have to, pl- I need the for sure thing from ET right now. Which even it wasn't that for sure last week. Um, I'm I'm swapping for Jacobs. I mean, Josh Jacobs, he's been the guy for years, just top 10. I I want him to be that again. I I really do. It's just, it's hard to say right now with just how dysfunctional that Oakland, oh, sorry, Oakland. Plummeting (laughs) down. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I I think, I think we'll, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. The Um, quad pod is, I agree. It's three to one. Three to one. We're keeping ET. That's fine. Curious what the <laughs> curious what ET is. There it is. Uh, played, yeah, no, he played forty eight snaps. The Tank Bigsby's twelve. Oh yeah, he played a ton these last two weeks. I just I also don't see that keeping up. Like I I, I do like they he's uh, Peterson has flat out said that we are going to use a rotation. I mean that um, is a rotation. Uh, more heavy. It, he, it he said he didn't want exactly. ET to yeah. be at seventy percent. Was his exact words was ET does not need to be at 70% of the usage out of our back. I mean, he wasn't at 70%. That's what he was last year. He's right at the right at that threshold. But he wasn't. He's not. He, I don't think he is now. I mean, he didn't he play 18 snaps. He's still the most explosive snaps. playmaker they have. Oh, yeah. He's field. he's it great. Just, I'm, I'm not trying to throw any. I was. I know that those guys are comparable in value, and they were comparable in draft uh, most of the offseason. So that's why I picked uh, ET well, there. Well, I actually think that uh, Jacksonville's deep, uh, or offense as a whole is going to come up. So, yeah. Yeah, I just, I mean, Josh Jacobs was good last year, and the Raiders' offense was just okay. So, I mean, I, I don't that know. That was not, uh, without Jimmy G. That, I mean, it was, but. I, I mean, would I, say Jimmy G's a step down from Derek Carr. They, certainly, but they were all right week one, and then week two it was eh. I mean, you know. Yeah. We, we shall see. Because Jacoby was out there. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's keep it moving here. We'll go Justin Fields next with some 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 dilemma action here. Um, <laughs> so, Fields right now, QB 15. Uh, but uh, week one, there, the stat was floating around that he, did, he had three passes go over 10 yards in week one mm. and looked absolutely awful. And week two, uh, I don't think he looked all that. There was some good plays to DJ Moore. But other than that, I mean, not a whole lot going on. And then you don't even get the rushing upside this week uh, from Fields last week. It really helped you out. This week, um, you know, you, you didn't quite get it. I believe he did run one in this week, though. He was He's been sacked 10 times uh, this season already. Um, three INTs, two touchdown passes, uh, six sacks in this last game, 16 for 29, 211 yards. Uh, but the A dot did go up from 3.6 to 7.6 this week. So we're seeing improvements, I guess. Um, uh, I just, I just don't know. Like we, we were three years into this thing now. Um, yeah. and I, it just concerns me of, of long-term of fields fantasy wise, Fields is going to be just fine week in, week out for your start because he runs around and he, de- but it's just, it's, it hasn't the progression and his reads and his feel just at, none of it seems to be there for me when I watched and I'm in, so enamored by the bears. I can't not watch them uh, because I, you know, I want Justin Fields to be good, but it's just not, it's just not happened. KJ, what do you got? Man, I'm, I'm worried. Like, the alarm's are going off. I, I, I can't help it. Uh, I mean, last year he had just over five design runs per game. 
Uh, he's had five now in two games. Right. <laughs> Uh, so they're not even utilizing him to his strengths when they see that his passing chops kind of aren't really developmentally where we want them to be coming in. Uh, but we saw this preseason. Everything was yards after the catch. Screens. Not a lot of people really screens. wanted to talk about that. Yeah, They uh, were excited that the screens were going to the house. And I'm like, but that's not that's not going to happen. He didn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's really tough to to be really bullish on fields. I think that you can get him at a discount. It's just how confident are you to pay what somebody's definitely going to ask for. Right. Um, I, I like fields. I, I liked him as, as a developmental project. I, I thought that he was going to be better at his third year as we've seen now. Uh, but I mean, I watched that game and he was missing wide open reads. I don't know how they're going to help him with that. But yeah. this is where we sit. He's a faller for me. It's just I, I can't have much confidence until we see him at least be capable. Right. And that's what, you know, it starts to worry me about what happens with this second contract. And then he's, does he get a second contract on like a, on a on a little deal? And then you're and halfway into the first year of that second contract. They're yanking him for somebody else because it's, it's, he's just not that his confidence is, is rattled. It just seems like it could go a right fantasy wise. He's fine. His legs are good enough. It's just what's the longevity kind of look like all off season. It was somewhere end of first round late or beginning a second round pick for Justin Fields because of what we saw with his legs and we're getting an upgraded offensive line and we're, we got weapons now and, you know, and uh, now weapon weapon. Yeah. And, you know, weapon. Yeah, um, at least he has one. But, you know, and then, then, you know, now it's everything's the OC's fault. And it's like, you know, I, it could be a lot. Some of the OC's fault. Um, but I just feels just he it just seems like he has no awareness. He doesn't get rid of the He holds it forever. It just seems like it's not it's not clicking uh, with where it kind of needs to be. And like, I think some of that shorter, quick stuff is trying to help him get rolling. And it's it's not I mean, the, the Bucks had a ridiculous pick six there uh, in, a, in a gross screen uh, from him. So, you know, I, I don't know. Sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, I, I, I just don't know how much an OC is going to help you missing three out of four of your reads on any play that pretty much could have been a touchdown and then run into a defensive line. Uh, so he's trying to pass first and rely on his offensive coordinator, drawing up plays for him, but he's not even taking him. So right. I, I'm having a hard time understanding how this is an offensive play calling issue besides yeah. them not designing runs for him, which, which is definitely something they need to get back to. Right. And and last week it was like I watched it and I was like, damn, he is he, he's so much fun running with the ball in his hands. Like he's he's so much fun. He's so hard to bring down and he's a lot of fun. And it's, it's not I'm not anti fields by any means. I, I didn't buy him one time this offseason at the price that it was. Um, and I would have even been a seller. Um, and I, but I don't think I'm buying back in right now. This is something that I, you know, have no problem doing a lot of times saying, hey, I'm out on price. And when it comes down, I'll, I'll get I'll jump back in. You know, that, and that's that's how, you know, I think most people that have been around long enough play this game. But I don't know if I want to jump back in at, at the so price that's, that's the going part, down. Though, right. Is you have to buy when there's the value. So right. if you feel that Fields is going to turn it around, this is the time you need to probably at yeah. least feel it out. You're shaking your head. Over I just um, I told you guys beforehand, I turned the deal down in about two seconds. It hurts. Yeah, uh, to, I mean, fields. To, to get fields and I just don't there's no progression happening with him. That's right. the problem I'm having is there's yeah. no we're not seeing any signs of, OK, he's taking the next step forward. It's just he did hit a screen pass to DJ Moore, though, right? It, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so if we could just do that every game. So, yeah, we, so we can right. be on a couple 70 yard touchdowns worked out. Well, I moved on from DJ Moore this offseason to everywhere I could. So, well, I have a question. So. I'm seeing on the Twitterverse, or sorry, the the X landscape. That's Twitterverse. Um, it's the Xverse. People are actually preferring Jordan Love to Fields now. Is, is that something that you're comfortable doing one to one? Ah, uh, I don't, I don't think. I think so. that's a bridge too far. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I so. Mean, and we're going to talk about Love a couple um, more weeks. Who the fuck knows? But yeah, we we'll, love, we'll love, get love on this podcast. Not Jordan Love, but we just love Love in general. I mean, I, I turned I turned down Stroud in a first. I was going to go up Stroud on the 25 first to get fields, and I declined it just because All right. I think Stroud's look pretty good so far, yeah. and I'm not going to give up a future they're, first for someone who One guy's looking like he's processing with four offensive linemen missing and trying to do everything he can to win games, and the other guy's out there just three years in not processing, it seems. Um, so, uh, so this is one that we've been throwing around on the pod. We did it last uh, Patreon episode. 
Tua and a first or Fields and Mike Evans? Tua, easy. I thought so too, right? I thought Tua and the first, easy for me. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. And, and and presuming that the that 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 the team that is doing this trade is not in necessarily win right this minute mode per se, but I don't even think it matters for me. I yeah, I don't think team makeup really makes a difference yeah, there. I, win down mode, I I could see somebody making the move, but I, I just I wouldn't even win now. Like I would I would take two on the first. I agree. I agree. Anything else on, on this one? Now let's move along. All right, let's keep it moving. So move along. Great dashboard song. <laughs> It's uh, it's definitely too early. Oh to no, do sorry, that's the all, all American all rejects. American, my yeah, oh, oh, sorry, good. Whoa, sorry, whoa. sorry, sorry, blasphemy. Sorry. Um, sorry, no, it's all good. So I fixed it. I fixed it. 